Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. I'm Pastor Pete with your word for the day. I am sure you remember that game, Follow the Leader. It was something that I played a lot as a kid. I had younger siblings, so it was an easy game to play. But when I was the leader, it was sometimes fun to challenge them, right? I would run faster than them, or I would climb something that they would not be able to climb. And if I never slowed up or I never helped them, I guess that would make me a pretty bad leader, wouldn't it? And if they gave up and they said, we're not playing, it's too hard, well, the game would end. In today's passage, Jesus asks four brothers to follow him. Let's read it. It's in Matthew 4, verses 18 through 22. While walking by the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon, who is called Peter, and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. And he said to them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. Immediately they left their nets, and they followed him. And going on from there, he saw two other brothers, James, the son of Zebedee, and John, his brother, in the boat with Zebedee, their father, mending their nets. And he called to them. Immediately they left the boat and their father, and followed him. Today, we will often hear calls to trust in Jesus or believe in Jesus. We sometimes will hear that we need to accept Jesus. But when Jesus called these men, he asked them for something a bit more challenging. He said, follow me. That could be a big task. These men didn't know much about Jesus at this point. They didn't know where they were going to be going. They also probably didn't have any idea what fishing for men would even look like. But they heard the invitation and they followed. Now, a hint of the direction that Jesus would lead them is found when he says, I will make you fishers of men. It wasn't something they would accomplish on their own. He would help them. He would teach them. Jesus would empower them. He would make sure that they had what they needed to follow him. Jesus is always inviting us to follow him. I'd even say that if you trust Jesus, then you will follow him. He'll be your leader. He'll set your course. He will make you into something new. Just like the four brothers, you'll have to leave some old ways behind. But Jesus has a great plan for you. And as you follow him, he'll test your obedience. He'll see your faith in action. He'll teach you about God and others and about yourself. He'll give you a new identity and that new identity will help you bring others to Jesus. You'll be able to invite others along to follow Jesus. The game Follow the Leader was always more fun when the line following the leader was long. A large group all following the lead child was the best way to play. The same is true for following Jesus. And I hope today you will follow him well. And while you follow, invite others to join in. If today's video has encouraged you, would you like it, share it, or leave a comment and have a blessed day.